Hey guys, peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. Back on the bike today, I uh, really need to finish off 100% on the cooling. Uh, we did radiator and uh, also the throttle cable last time. So we need to address the, for the intercooler, the heat exchanger, as you'd call it, um, and also pump. So what I've actually come up with, get it out. is this all right so that's the um dc pump there uh it's a brushless pump it flows pretty nice not sure exactly the flowing rate of it we'll have to have a look um fill cap all right so that's going to be the fill cap of the whole thing so what that's going to do is be the highest point of the uh water to air intercooler um that's going to go in here this is going to be mounted uh, just below here. Um, it's not going to get air from here, it's going to be air, air from underneath. Um, as we discussed, we're going to be filling that in with a just a small LED headlight of some sort. Um, I just need to measure it up and I need to put another dash 12 fitting on the top here. But I'm going to take this front off so I can mount it, uh, make a couple of tabs off the side. And then, um, yeah, mount this, then know where we're gonna put the, the dash 12 fitting. Um, and then, yeah, put her on. So uh, that's what we're up to. So let's get that done. And then that will literally be, um, yeah, all water stuff on this bike. So, so yeah, after this is the, the pretty much the tricky stuff on the rear, the rear end, and also the shifter, the electric shifter. Um, yeah. Things are getting sorted out at the moment. Um, and yeah, so yeah, everything's happening. So let's yeah, get this done. Let's get this out really quickly. Let's put it in and um, yeah, let's uh, finish this up.
peeps, so let's have a look at the heat exchanger all mounted up. So a couple little brackets on the side there, either side. We've got the pump there, mounted there. And um, we've also got all the fittings, so dash 12 on there and dash 12 top. That'll be just a 90 degree. Um, this is still going to be the highest point of the pump. And the dash 12, it's rock solid. Nothing moves when you take the cap off. Caps off. All right, so it's not going to be pressurized, um, but it does have a pressure pressure seal. It's just easier to open and close. So, yeah, looks really, really good. Um, that's pretty much going to be getting all the airflow from the underneath. So this is going to be filled up. All right, and uh, with a with a light or something at the front. Haven't have a a massive think about it yet, but um, yeah, I'm really cool that. Uh, yeah, we're starting to get some coolers happening there. Um, radiator is there, and yeah, we got the heat exchanger there for the intercooler. Really, really happy. Everything's all mounted up. All right, so there you have it. All right, peeps, well, all done. So, water is all done for the cooler now. So, we've got the... Um, Cooler on the front there, pump mounted, uh, all fittings all ready to go. So just have to do lines. I do that after everything gets painted and powder coated. It's just so then it doesn't get scratched up and uh, you know, it, it looks a lot better when it's all done. Um, yeah, so now that, that there is taken care of, um, we really need to do now is oil lines. So uh, oil feed for turbo and also uh, oil drain. Um, oil feeds a really easy thing. It's just a dash four straight off of the uh, oil sense, uh, oil sense pressure sensor there. Um, so it's only the oil drain. Uh, that's off the sump. Got to put a fitting on the sump there. These aren't turbo engines. Um, so the only thing is, I do need to modify the sump only because when it's on the rear air suspension, it's going to be sitting on it. So I need to. Uh, yeah, address that now. So sump modifications now. That will probably be next. Um, and yeah, airbags. So take out the rear suspension now. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we're gonna get it dropped down to see where it's actually gonna sit on the actual rear. Rear. Um, do the uh, air suspension as well at the same time, and also the uh, oil uh, oil pans. So modifications there. Um, then we then after that we've got uh, the uh, drive drive shaft on the rear. If you didn't know, we are running a drive shaft, not a chain, and also um, a rear tire. So have to suss out something decent on the rear tire. I have sort of gone for more of a um, want really like a Harley rear tire, so a motorbike tire. Um, other than a flat, just a straight up drag tire. Um, I know it is going to be a drag bike, but I still want to try to drive it on the road. So I know it's going to be a big bike and it's a heavy bike, but it's, you know, it's a bit pointless not using it anywhere else. So yeah, so that's where we're up to anyway, guys. Um, yeah, so let's, um, yeah, ne next episode that's on this thing is going to be um, sump and uh, rear uh, the suspension so I'm pretty excited about the rear suspension because I got that ages ago and I really want to put that in not sure whether I should actually use two uh, cylinders or the one I've got the full kit um, and uh, mount they're gonna mount the pump uh, there's a couple of things there as well got to mount a tank somewhere um, I really want an onboard tank not just off the pump um, yeah and that's where we're at so until then guys Thank you very much for liking and subscribing. Please share it out more. Um, we've got some um, some awesome stuff coming up. Uh, it, all the toys are almost pretty much happening now. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty awesome. So we've got some um, big features and stuff like that coming down as well. But um, yeah, we'll leave it at that though. So thanks very much guys, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. See you guys.